Lucille Ball left us plenty to remember her by. Every hour of the day, somewhere, an episode of I Love Lucy is being shown on television. Now the never-before-shown pilot episode of that classic series has been found, and it leads today's inside story. This is the humble beginning of the most popular series in television history. The never-before-seen footage set Desi Arnaz and a certain lovable redhead on an irreversible course. <laughs> the discovery comes at an appropriate time. It was one year ago this week that just about everyone in America felt as though there had been a death in the family. Lucy was family, and we loved her. I never had a negative note from her, you know, not one minute. She was just always ready to work, knew what she was doing, and she was a delight to be with. She's a friend. Once a friend, she loved you. That's it for life. She was a very loyal, benevolent lady. Oh, Ricky, please, just let me do the commercial. Nothing doing. Why not? Look, honey, this is too big a chance for me. I need someone with a lot of experience. Well, I've had experience. <laughs> but Lucy also earned a reputation for being tough, and according to Milton Burrow, it bothered her. She said, you know, Milton, uh, being a perfectionist is good, but it's also bad. And I said, what do you mean? She said, well, you become a heavy. She was tough. And it was good she was tough, or she wouldn't have gotten where she was. Carmichael, I think you have blown your fuse. Gail Gordon co-starred with Lucy in three different series. He says in the more than 50 years he knew her, she never was taken with her celebrity status. No matter how high she went, no however great she was, you never got that attitude that so many of them sort of put on a mantle and say, now you genuflect when you come up to me and ask me if I'm ready to go on and all this. There's nothing like that ever with Lucy. She was down to earth, a hard worker, and a genius. One man who was her friend during the last year of her life was Jim Brochu. He played backgammon with her nearly every day. Lucy quite often left phone messages for him, which he saved. Hi, Jim. This is Lucy. And I'm awaiting. I'm home. Let's hear from you. Love you. Brochu has now written a book revealing some of the conversations they had. Desi was certainly the great flame of her life. Uh, she adored Desi, but she knew that Desi had problems. And I think it was a result of the Latin upbringing of, you know, wine, women, and song, and a lot of it. Lucy's marriage to Gary Morton lasted 28 years until her death. There were none of the problems in the first marriage. You know, there was, uh, there was none of the infidelity. Gary was a loyal man, and she knew his loyalty, and she never doubted it for a minute. And, uh, and she depended on him until the day she died. Sadly, Lucy did experience a particular frustration during that last year, according to Brochu. She was unhappy about one thing, that her body wasn't responding the way it used to. She was a physical comedian, and, you know, her timing was, you know, just split-second timing. And her body was getting older, and it wasn't responding as quickly as it used to. Now, with the discovery of the lost pilot, fans will get to see the beginnings of a phenomenal TV career. Ricky? Yes, Lucy, what is it? If you'd known how I look in the morning, would you still have married me? <laughs> well, would you? I'm trying to decide. <laughs> and there's one thing for certain. There will never be another like Lucy. I don't know what the world would have been especially the show world, without a Lucille Ball. Above all, she was a great actress. You have to be a good actress to really be a good comedian. My baby and me. You can see the I Love Lucy.